Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack Directabus and welcome to the fastest elemental kraken guide on YouTube. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys how exactly you first upgrade the kraken and then how to get the elemental upgrades. If you are new to the channel, be sure to drop a sub and hit that big boy bell so you don't miss future streams and uploads as I'll be posting content all throughout the Black Ops 4 season. Drop a like on the video and let's get started. So the first step you're going to need to take is go to the artifact which is going to be on the very opposite side of the ship on spawn. You're going to want to go ahead and uh, activate that and which is going to in turn open all all the little pack-a-punch things that you can activate which will in turn activate pack-a-punch then head over to the box and spin for the kraken that's the only way you're going to get the kraken it's pretty simple you just need a little bit of patience So while you're opening the Pack-a-Punch by, you know, activating all the uh, little pack-a-punch pedestals like this one here in the water that I'm going to swim by there's going to be a part right behind it to the left. It should be on the left right there on that box or in the middle clump by that light. Once you grab that, go to the upper grand staircase and I believe it's deck A. It's going to be this deck right here and you're just going to go on right through this little hole in the wall and you're either going to find a pot on that table right there or you're going to turn the corner and it'll be right there as I find it there. Once you have those two, go to the statue right there, and it's going to be in the galley, and this next part will be on the shelf right here to the right. If it's not there, it's going to be on the other side of the statue, right through that door, and it's going to be on the counter to the left. And in no particular order, you're going to want to upgrade the Kraken while you're doing this, which is you're just going to throw it in the Pack-a-Punch machine once you've opened it. You're going to throw it in, it's going to spit it out, and you're good to go. Okay, so now that you have all the parts and the Kraken upgraded, you're going to want to progress through the rounds until you find elemental zombies. These zombies are going to drop specific things, so as you see here, I'm going to kill this flaming one, and he's going to drop a skull. So the different elemental zombies drop different things, like the acid zombie, I believe, drops a, like, a heart type thing, and so on and so forth. So if you want to upgrade to the fire Kraken, you're going to take that skull, all your parts, and your upgraded Kraken. You're going to want to head down to the crafting table right below spawn um, in the engine room this is the only one you can use you're gonna go right up to it craft the distillation kit and that's going to give you the ability to put the skull in and swap out your kraken for the fire kraken so let's say you want a different elemental kraken so as you can see in this clip, I'm killing these acid zombies, looking to see if they drop anything. That one did not. There's another one. I'm going to kill that. And it drops a heart of some sorts. It's like the like the part that you get for the acid zombie. So I'm going to pick that up. So if I want to switch to the acid one, I'm going to just take that newly found part, go back down to the crafting table, and throw that sucker in. As you can see in the clip, I don't have enough points for it, but it's going to cost 6,000 in between each swap and the initial conversion to the elemental. But if you're going to want to swap in between them, it's going to cost 6,000 each time. And all different ones will have different abilities that you can kind of fill out for yourself. My favorite so far is the fire. I find the, uh, the kind of ice one to be weak. But uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. Be sure to drop a like if this guide did help you. I would like to make more of these. And just showing your support would mean the world to me, especially with this whole Black Ops 4 season. I'm excited to make videos and streams. And yeah, so that's going to be it for me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.